Hello, Jonathan Landeros with Kativ Technologies, and welcome to Draft Tool Improvements, one of the new features inside of Autodesk Inventor 2012. I'll start out with just this box that I've modeled up, and we're just going to apply a draft to it. So I'll directly go to my draft tool, and notice how we now have automatic face chain and automatic blending. These are new. I'll go ahead and I'm going to select my pull direction, and now watch what happens when I pick my edge. It'll blend around, including the fillets. I can also drag this arrow now and get a dynamic preview of what the draft will look like. I still also do have the option to type in a number though, so I'll just do 10 degrees. Accept that. And we can see our result, but that's not very practical. The fillets blend to a sharp corner, so we'll edit that. Let's drop that to five degrees and that'll look a lot better. Hit OK, and voila, there we go. Now another new feature we've got, I've just switched this box to a different state. Now it's got a sketch that I've created, and I'll go ahead and apply a draft to this. Place my draft. I'll choose the parting line option, select my pull direction, and now the sketch. We can see that I get the draft in both directions, but I now have an asymmetric option which gives me two dynamic arrows, and I can pull those in different directions with different values, making a much more flexible tool that we have at our disposal. So that's it for some of the new tools for drafting. Definitely some things that aren't flashy and bangy and really out there in the what's new, but definitely some good, solid things that you can take advantage of in your daily work. That's it for this video. Thanks for taking the time to watch.